we need to find the electric field inside a spherical cavity within a sphere so we are given a sphere inside which we have a cavity we need to get find the field inside this cavity so by principle of superposition we can add and subtract equal amount of charges inside this cavity so let's fill this cavity with a sphere of charge density rho and at the same position let's imagine there is a, another sphere of charge density minus rho so now this sphere is complete and we have another sphere kept at that location with the charge density of minus rho therefore field at any point now is the vector sum of both individual full spheres so he is asking inside cavity but at any point in the space everywhere you can find electric field by just doing the vector sum because of each individual spheres so in case of cavity so let's take a point p inside the cavity so by principle of superposition field will be due to the bigger sphere and due to the smaller sphere now this p point lies inside both the spheres so we are only going to consider this region due to the field due to the outside region of this sphere will be zero and field due to outside region of this smaller sphere will also be zero so field will be there only due to this sphere which is on the on which the periphery of which we have the point p so because of the first sphere electric field will be even away from it and because of e2 it should be towards the center of second sphere so let's call it e2 and position vectors of p with respect to first sphere is let's say r1 and with respect to second sphere let's say its position is r2 vector and let's also say that the the line joining the two spheres from positive to negative let that let's call it a vector so e is equal to e1 plus e2 vector now e vector because we are only only considering the inside part of this whole sphere we know that for that the electric field is rho r by 3 epsilon it's standard result for field inside a solid sphere plus e2 so r2 will be there and instead of rho because it's a negatively charged sphere we'll put minus rho this simplifies to rho by 3 epsilon r1 vector minus r2 vector and you can see from diagram r1 vector minus r2 vector is a vector so this simplifies and become rho a vector by 3 epsilon which is a constant so it's independent of position of p inside the cavity so everywhere inside the cavity this means the electric field is constant and its value is rho a vector by 3 epsilon so if you represent it in diagram the field in field lines inside the cavity will look like this they will be parallel and the direction will be along the line joining the center of the sphere and the center of the cavity yeah